So it's really striking for someone who works in international law, which can be quite abstract, uh, to come and really witness some of the effects of climate change in this region firsthand. So we've seen today some of the effects of the recent heavy rains and flooding here on a village that's really at the front line of experiencing climate change effects and seeing that some houses have actually been washed away uh, and that people have been relocated and that there, there's now a need to rebuild parts of the village. And what's also struck me more generally here in Fiji is how both communities and the government are having to plan to address the effects of climate change that are already happening, when in other parts of the world people are still debating whether climate change is even, you know, happening or, or caused by humans. It's a foundation of my grandfather's house. Um, my grandfather's house moved to the other side. Yeah. When the flood comes, the soil falls down. The other one is wearing the white t-shirt. It's affecting our grandfathers because our grandfather is blind. Last month, the other month, when the flood came, the flood fell down. So it's, it's really uh, striking, I think, the difference that people here have to be addressing the causes here and now.